Hi, welcome to iFlip for Math, MathCast Lesson 5-5, Part 1, Divide by Two Digits Using Doubles Division, which is the crazy way. I'm Mrs. Gooding, and our quote tonight is by Helen Keller. Remember, she could not see or hear from the time when she was a little girl. She said, alone we can do so little, together we can do so much. I've just been really proud of the way you guys have worked together to help each other learn division in class, and so I thought that was a pretty cool quote. Our learning goal is to use doubles division to make dividing by two digits super easy. Here are our learning goals. They are the same as the learning goals were for the previous lessons when we're using the crazy division, but make sure that you check them out because you don't want to forget any of the steps. Here is our first example, 115 divided by 12. So I went ahead and set up our problem, 115 divided by 12, and I wrote our doubling steps down the side and then doubled our divisor. 12 plus 12 is 24, 24 plus 24 is 48, and 48 and 48 is 96. So now we're gonna look at it. We know no number will go into one, none of these numbers here in this column. So we put an X there. And truly there isn't any number that's gonna go into 11, so we can put an X over that too. So right now we can look at this and we'll know that our quotient is going to be a single digit because we only have one space to put a number in. So we're looking for the closest number to 115 without going over. And as we look down our list, 96 is the closest number. And the number next to 96 is 8. So we write our 8 over here in the quotient column. We don't add any zeros. We didn't annex any zeros. So now we'll subtract 5 minus 6. Can't do it. 0. 15 minus 6, that's 9. And then 1 minus, oh, excuse me, 0 minus 9, you can't do that. So if you borrowed one, it would be 10 minus 9, which is 1. Now we're looking and for the closest number to 19 without going over. And that would be 12. So we'll write the 12 right below here and come back over here. The number to the left of the 12 is a 1, so we'll write that under our 8 and go ahead and subtract. 9 minus 2 is 7, and 1 minus 1 is 0. I'm not even going to write that. There aren't any numbers that will go into 7 without going over, so we're checking it to make sure that our remainder here is less than our divisor, and it is. So we'll write remainder 7 up here and add up our quotient. 8 plus 1 is 9, so we'll write 9 above. Ooh, that was kind of a crazy 9. So now remember, you're multiplying 9 times 12, which is 108, and 108, it's a good thing I've been practicing those facts folders with you guys, plus 7 is 115, which matches our dividend. So our quotient is 9 with a remainder of 7. So it's time to work our practice problems. I love these pictures of Helen Keller. Before she learned to read books by using Braille, she would have someone who would read the book and then actually spell the words into her hand because she couldn't hear them reading aloud. So she really overcame a lot of challenges, and I know you can too when it comes to division. So let's try this first problem. 243 divided by 31. Use the crazy way to figure it out and then check it using multiplication. Push play when you're ready. Did you write 7 remainder 26? Let's see how we did that. So here is 243 divided by 31. Check your doubling carefully. I noticed some of you in class were excited to see that 1 times 31 is 31, 2 times 31 is 62, 4 times 31 is 124, and 8 times 31 is 248. So you are multiplying, but without actually going through the process. So let's look at this number. There is no number that will go into 2 evenly without going over, so we're going to put an X there. And same with the 24, there is no number less than 31 in this column, so we'll put an X here too. So we know that we have a one-digit quotient again. So let's look for the closest number to 243 without going over. And it is 124. We didn't have to annex any zeros, and the number next to 124 is 4, so we'll write that next to that. 
3 minus 4 you can't do, so we'll leave a little 3 there. 13 minus 4 is 9. 3 minus 2 is 1. And 2 minus 1 is 1. So let's see, there's no number that will go into 1 or 11, so the closest number to 119 without going over is 62. And we'll write it right under 119. The number next to 62 is a 2, so the 2 is what we put in our quotient column. 9 minus 2 is 7, and 1 minus 6 you can't do, so 11 minus 6 is 5. Closest number without going over is 31. And the number next to 31 is a 1. It's time to subtract. 7 minus 1 is 6. And 5 minus 3 is 2. So now there's no number that will divide evenly into 26 without going over, or divide into 26 without going over. And our remainder is less than our divisor of 31, so we're going to write remainder 26 and add up our quotient. 4 plus 2 is 6 plus 1 is 7. And remember that it's okay for your remainder to be bigger than your quotient. It just can't be bigger than your divisor. So 7 remainder 26 is correct. And to check it, multiply 31 times 7, get your answer, and add 26 to it. Your answer to that should be your dividend of 243. Number two, 403 divided by 52. Go ahead and work that, check it, and push play when you're ready. Did you write 7 remainder 39? Let's see how we did that one. So here is our problem, 403 divided by 52. As we are looking at it, I can't find my mouse. There it is. Nothing will go into that 4, so we'll put an x there, and nothing will go into 40, so we'll put an x there. So again, a one-digit quotient, and we're looking for the closest number to 403 without going over. So 208 is the closest. We didn't have to annex any zeros, and the number to the left of 208 is 4, so we'll put a 4 in the quotient column. Now we'll subtract. 3 minus 8 you can't do. Now I can't borrow from the 0 so I'm going to take 1 away from 40 and write 39 above both of those digits. So I'll take the 1 that I borrowed and write it right there. 13 minus 8 is 5, 9 minus 0 is 9, and 3 minus 2 is 1. So now we're looking to, for the closest number to 195 without going over. That would be 104. And the number next to 104 is a 2, so we write a 2 in our quotient column. And subtract. 5 minus 4 is 1. 9 minus 0 is 9. 1 minus 1 is 0. And I'm not, I'm not even going to write that. Closest number to 91 is 52. We didn't have to annex any zeros. And the number to the left of the 52 is a 1. So we'll write a 1 right there and go ahead and subtract. We have to regroup a little bit. 11 minus 2 is 9. 8 minus 5 is 3. So there are no numbers in this column that will go into 39. And 39 is less than 52, so that can be our remainder. And then we'll add up our quotient. 4 plus 2 plus 1 is 7. So 7 is our quotient. And to check it, we multiply 52 times 7 and then add 39. We should get our dividend of 403. Here's our practice word problems and some photos of Helen with her dogs. Helen is going to speak to students about how she overcame the challenge of not being able to hear or see. There are 702 seats in the audience. If the audience is seated in 13 sections, how many people will sit in each section? Go ahead and figure out what you need to put in your division problem and then work the problem, check it with multiplication, and push play when you're ready. Did you write 54 people? Let's see how we did that. 
702 divided by 13. And notice we have the same doubled numbers going down the side. And check your doubling carefully because if you have the wrong answer here, it's going to give you the wrong quotient. So no number will go into 7. We'll put an X there. And we're looking for the closest number to just 70 right here. And the closest number is 52. So we write that under the 70. And we have an empty place value position that we have to annex 1, 0. So we'll annex a 0 there. The number to the left of the 52 is a 4, so we'll write that here. And because we annexed a 0 here, we'll annex a 0 here. Now we'll subtract. 2 minus 0 is 2. 0 minus 2 can't do it. 10 minus 2 is 8. 6 minus 5 is 1. Now we're looking for the closest number without going over, and the closest number to 182 is 104. We didn't have to annex any zeros, and the number to the left is an 8, so I'm going to write that in the 1's place so that it lines up nicely when we add them. 2 minus 4 can't do it. 12 minus 4 is 8. 7 minus 0 is 7 and 1 minus 1 is 0. 78, the closest number to 78 without going over is 52. And the number next to 52 is a 4. Again, we didn't annex a 0, so I'll write that in the 1's column. 8 minus 2 is 6, and 7 minus 5 is 2. Closest number without going over is 13. Oh, excuse me, is not 13. I'm glad I caught that is 26. I'm glad I caught that so I didn't have to do a push-up. The number next to 26 is a 2. Okay, oops, connect those. Ah, what am I doing? 26 minus 26 is 0. We don't have a remainder. And our quotient is 8 plus 4 is 12 plus 2 is 14. Carry your 1. 1 plus 4 is 5. So our quotient is 54. Check it by multiplying 13 times 54. It's time to challenge yourself. Here's some pictures of Helen Keller with President. She had to figure out how people looked by feeling their face. So when she met them, she would meet them by feeling their face. 23 members of the photography club took 55,918 photos. If they used memory cards that hold 811 photos per card, how many cards will they need to hold all of their photos? Show your work in your flip journal. This is a big problem, so explain how you got your answer and check your answer in class tomorrow. Finishing up, review your learning goals. Do you understand each step? This is a similar lesson to what we've been doing for the past week, but I want to make sure you understand each step. Write down if you're a 1, a 2, or a 3 level in your learning. Crazy Division rocks. You've completed Lesson 5-5, Part 1, Dividing by Two Digits Using Devil's Division. I can't wait to see you tomorrow.